I'm Chipoma Pondera. I'm a creative technologist and software developer. I work in fashion and um, I was one of the collaborators on Futuristic Pagan, building the world and environment. Um, I'm Sabina Mchati. I'm a fashion designer. I'm into like recycled fashion. I have a passion for it as well. And I was also part of the Futuristic Pagan as the designer and the animator. Well, the collection was inspired by the traditional fabrics that we have. There's Gurire Hanga, which is the black and white polka dot, and there's Rezo, which is red, black and white. The black stands for the ancestor, and then the red stands for the wars that we fight spiritually, and then the white stands for peace. And then the black and white um, is taken from the, the guinea fowl, which is a sacred bird in Zimbabwe. That's where the inspiration of that black and white polka dot came from. And overall, like the Futuristic Pagan project, um, it was about connecting a fashion collection to our Shona, or maybe more specifically Zezuru, spiritual cultures and nature, um, and uplifting and promoting both of those um, themes. And we were specifically exploring how we connect with the ancestors. So we created um, our Shona Ozezuru dreamscape yeah. to present Sabina's fashion collection. We met at Zimbanete and this focal space, which was also a matriarchal space, was Imbayamai. So this house is called Imbayamai because it's a, it's a, woman's, uh, it's a woman-owned house. Right? Not good men are not involved in this uh, in this house. They are involved, but they only come in to eat and then they leave. So this house has by the door they make it out of like special tree. Um, this tree is used as the the doorway. There's a side where there's a bench. So the bench is called uh, Chigarabakwati, meaning Kuti, this is where uh, the men will come and sit and eat, because that's their only business in the in the house on a regular basis. But if there are other things like kukumbiri uh, ramana to to your ancestors, like to ask for for guidance for children when they are traveling or whatever, they use a place called Chukuba, which is uh, opposite to the to the door. And also that Chukuba is not just a random thing. You will have to get uh, soil from your great 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 grandfather's grave and then they come mix it with with daga and then they make that chukua so that the the spirit of that grandfather can always protect the family and and because we hadn't known each other for a very long time so we also had to exercise extra patience yeah, yeah. So I, I feel it was a really good exercise in teamwork and just some type of just organic exploration as well, like doing the 3D scanning of a hut, like <laughs> just randomly. <laughs> and because it's here at Zimbanete, it was just feels like a really organic process, I think. And then, yeah, all the technical skills. So it was pretty... Great. <laughs>